Hi, this is Zidane Tutorials and in this video I'm going to target an operational challenge often faced by new designers uh, that have recently started working on Shutterstock contributor accounts. So a lot of designers when they try to upload their vector files on Shutterstock contributor account in EPS format and they believe and they feel that they are following all the rules or requirements but they still get this error regarding the uh, sizing of their EPS file for and they are, and it states that the file of the size is uh, less than 4 MB and it should be greater than 4 MB. So this is a very common problem and it's quite confusing so I'm going to resolve that and uh, that confusion and simplify it uh, once and for all. Now before getting started let me tell you that uh, this video is going to be part of a new series that I'm starting uh, from today and which is going to target the operational problems and challenges faced by the designers that are working on or that have started working on Shutterstock contributor account and uh, for those who don't know uh, I already have a series, uh, ongoing series where I upload videos related to the financial aspects of Shutterstock, Shutterstock Contributor account and uh, I have already uploaded videos related to a case study of mine uh, over, which is based on my experience over the years working as Shutterstock Contributor and where I have up, uh, uploaded videos where I showcased my earning uh, summary where I have explained what is the uh, potential of Shutterstock as a passive as a source of passive income uh, what sort of designs uh, sells more for me uh, what sort of topics that I have targeted so far and um, also uh, uh, some strategies of mine that are helping me in uh, increasing my earning potential um, over the months so so if you're interested in those sort of topics or the earning potentials I will leave the links to those videos um, in the description of this particular video that you're watching uh, so do have a look at those uh, I'm sure you are going to find those really informative because those videos are not some sort of informative tutorials those are based on a proper case study and you will find those strategies and information really helpful in increasing your earning potential as a Shutterstock contributor now coming back to our topic so I'm going to display what exactly I'm talking about so I have already pre-uploaded a file uh, and once I uploaded that shutterstock.eps uh, EPS file uh, I got this warning message and once I click on it it will display me the error here so here the error goes the size of your artwork and they have here they have tried to explain it but not in a real manner not the size of the artboard must be at least four megapixels okay so uh, this is the error which a lot of us get so I'm going to clear it for now okay so I will explain uh, if you noticed the, the name of the file was demo.eps and here is here is the file so here is this is an EPS file and if you will notice I have hover uh, I'm hovering over it and you will notice that its size is 12.7 MB okay so many people confuse it with the file size instead of size of the art artwork but then again what about the artwork it is still confusing now this is the file I have opened it, opened it up in uh, Adobe Illustrator now what you need to do is you need to select this tool which is artboard 2 so if you click on it you will notice that it uh, makes this sort of uh, uh, a boundary around it and all you need to do is you need to notice on the top it displays the width and height of your artboard okay and uh, you could it might be showing this in a different unit so you could go to the view and here you will in the drop down you will you need to go to the rulers and uh, at the moment uh, my rulers are already being displayed so you could show rulers or hide rulers from here okay if they are not appearing already so if you click on the ruler which is here you will notice that it gives you an option to switch between different units of measurement so 
you need to keep it to pixels so that uh, you understand what is going on so now now that you have the width and height in pixels you will notice that at the moment the width is 3000 pixels and the height is 12 and 14 pixels uh, 1214 pixels okay and this file got rejected by shutterstock for being less than 4 um, uh, megapixels okay so what exactly do we need to do then so I have this a very simple formula for you so that you would understand and everything would make sense now this is the golden um, value that you need to achieve this thing which is four million okay a four with six zeros a, a four million so what you need to do is your pixels uh, in width and height when you will multiply them for example here I have 3000 and uh, 1214 so let me give it to you let's try it out 3000 into 1214 and I will enter now you will notice that the answer to it is um, less than 4 million it is 3.6 million okay so this file is going to give me an error so what I need to do is I need to increase the file uh, the size of the artboard to an extent that its height and width when multiplied should give me the answer in uh, greater than 4 million okay so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that so first I will use control minus to reduce the size uh, of the preview it's not reducing the size it's just zooming out and then you need to uh, select this tool obviously it's already selected the artboard tool and move it to one of the cor uh, corners of your artboard for example this one and here you need to hold the shift key and alt key both of these keys shift and alt together and then you will start increasing it now while I'm increasing it you will notice that it is displaying the the values on its corner the width and height so uh, obviously it will vary from case to case but for this file you you could make sure that let's say if I go above 4000 in width then I could be uh, confident that okay once it will multiply with, with something uh, more than 1000 it would make uh, above 4 million so I will leave it like this now that I have increased the size of my artboard then I will do control A or select everything from here and then I will also match my work artwork to the artboard size like this okay so this is how I have increased the size of the artboard and then uh, matched my design to it okay now I will show you what is the current value now the width is 4033 and height is 1632 so let's try that now 4033 and 1632 and yeah now it is 6,000,000 half million. so this is more than 4 million that we need to do achieve so this file is going to work fine so I will save this particular file as demo 2 in EPS format and as you all know for Adobe Illustrator the, the version that you need to pick is Illustrator 10 so I'll pick that one and I will press OK so it got saved ok so now I will go back to this page here and I will upload the new design this time so here it is I will upload the demo too it would take few seconds okay so now it has uploaded demo2.eps and I will say next and then on this page uh, I might need to reload the page and yeah it's working fine now 
okay gamma 2 dot e dx so if you all come back to this um, tab you will notice that the demo of the original one was 12.7 MB and the demo 2 is 14.5 MB so in terms of size of the file it hasn't changed that much but in terms of the size of the artboard we have changed it to match uh, the, the 2000 by 2000 thing or in other words uh, this particular equation is what we need something more than 4 million that is what we need to do so I hope this has clarified the whole concept of um, this error which we get uh, once we upload something and we confuse the megapixels with megabytes uh, or in, the, in other words we confuse the size of the artwork or artwork with the size of the file another thing that you must understand is that if you do not have um, some sort of a background and you are just uh, uploading something a, a vector in the middle then it is not going to count the size of the artboard it will only uh, count the size of that particular um, vector okay so for that uh, purpose to make things less complicated I would advise you to always keep a background in the back even if it's white okay so that uh, the purpose for that is so that it would make things simpler for you and you will only have to adjust the artboard and not the artwork itself because that would uh, further complicate the things for you so that's it for the, uh, for this particular video uh, I will keep uploading more videos related to such operational um, aspects or operational problems or errors uh, some of those are very self-explanatory for example you are not supposed to uh, upload a file with some locked layers uh, similarly uh, you are not supposed to upload a file where uh, some design element is going outside the out outboard artboard boundary uh, and there are many more there are many more but some of those are very easy to understand this one was a bit confusing so I thought of uh, uploading a video to explain what exactly do Shutterstock mean by uh, having a file larger than 4 megapixels uh, and like I said earlier for the videos related to the financial aspect or uh, the passive income potential those videos will also uh, be part uh, will, will, uh, will also be uploaded in the future as well but those are part of a separate series in the same channel so I will drop the links of those videos here if you find this video helpful do don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, that would really encourage me to upload more uh, informative videos like this and uh, do uh, like this video and to drop any comment if you have some question related to operational aspects or any other uh, aspect you have in your mind related to Shutterstock um, contributor account thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day